Yeah, downtown life is a huge part for Lexingtonians, from the bars to the restaurants and shops and to the entertainment areas like Lex Live or the Lexington Opera House. Now, on a social media post, many Lexingtonians complaining about Lex Park and how they think it's destroying downtown. I spoke with Laura Boyson with Lex Park about this issue. I, first of all, I appreciate that they're raising it. We want to be, we want to be aware. We want to be part of. Um, and we also want them to be aware of the, the, the choices downtown, that we could help them. They could look at LexPark.org, our website. They could call us because we can give them other choices in parking, which, which might be a, a, a better choice for them. One college student speaking out about her frustrations with Lex Park. I one time I was towed three times in a week actually and I have had so many tickets racked up and being a student at UK it's really difficult to actually afford the tickets they're usually 15 or 30 dollars and not just college students are having these experiences I came to a conference down here and parked downtown and was just a little over so I got the ticket and the process to appeal was complicated so my only option was to pay it online or through some app, which I think could be difficult for some people. Kelly says that because of the tickets. Oh, I left my car back in Chicago and didn't bring it down this last semester because of all the tickets. Boyson, however, says it's not exactly a rise in parking tickets. It's not just meters that we're managing. We're managing the safety of our community. So if somebody's parking in a loading dock, if somebody's parking in front of a fire hydrant, things like that, that's also what we're responsible to manage. So but could what the community views as a rise in tickets affect downtown life? I see the frustration with it because downtown is such a big draw if it weren't for the parking issue. So yeah, I mean, I think it will hurt people wanting to come down here if they are afraid of getting ticketed. Yeah. Some suggestions people have to help with this problem are better signs or more free parking lots. For now, Sydney St. Clair, ABC 36 on your side.